hosting this summer, registered dietitian Sue Ma has three tasty suggestions for appetizers, and they look almost too beautiful to eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're so delicious, Annette. Oh my goodness, thanks for having me on. I've partnered with wonderful pistachios in Gwillimdale Farms to share three amazing recipes that are perfect for summertime entertaining. Okay, and pistachios are so good for us for so many reasons. Oh my goodness, for sure. So they're a good source of protein, they're a complete source of protein, they're cholesterol free, and they offer fiber. So you can have them as a snack on their own, or you can use them in a recipe. And so let's make a recipe okay. with them. Okay, we're gonna make the tacos. first. Yeah, the first recipe is called street tacos with an avocado pistachio cream slaw. So let's start with our corn tortilla. And we're gonna add here, you can start first, we're gonna add the filling, which is some pistachios and corn. Okay. And I've used the wonderful pistachios um, no shells, lightly salted. You can also use the smoky barbecue pistachios if you like to give it a bit more oomph and flavor. So what's what's in here that you've, it, is, is it just the seasoning from the pistachios itself? Oh, there's some cumin, there's a little bit of um, okay. lime juice, so it really adds some zest and, and flavor, right? So that's there, and now we're gonna add the slaw. You can use the fork and knife, and fork that's and made with here. creamy avocado. There's some red cabbage. I've also got some shredded carrots and some shredded parsnips from Gwillimdale Farms. There Thank you. you. Are. And you might not know, but Gwillimdale Farms is a fifth generation family owned farm in Bradford. So just north of on uh, north of uh, Toronto. Okay, is that Holland Marsh area then? Yeah, kind of like Gwillimberry. Okay. Um, and so they grow carrots, parsnips, potatoes, beets, onions, absolutely delicious. And now let's add some pickled onions on top. Now these are very beautiful. This is almost like a decoration It itself. is, they're so pretty, right? All right, I'm gonna go yeah. overboard on go, the pickle. Go overboard. Love pickled onions. Do that, excellent. You can find this recipe, by the way, at wonderfulpistachios.com as are. I'm assembling mine. And it's just so great. People can make their own when they're you know, at a, at a party, a summer barbecue, at the cottage, and there you go. So delicious, so wonderful, complete source of protein. Roll it up and away you go. And a nice taste of summer here. Okay, now you've got these really, and, and I love that your outfit <laughs> and my outfit yes. matches these little gazpacho shooters. Yeah, so these are parsnip and beet vichyssoise shooters with a Parmesan crisp. Okay, what's the difference between vichyssoise and gazpacho? Is okay, it so they're both cold soups and vichyssoise is usually made with potatoes and leeks, but for this recipe, I've used parsnips and beets from Gwillimdale Farm. So it gives it a delicious flavor, but also that beautiful red hue. That it beautiful is so red pretty. Color. So yeah. for the fancy decoration, you've made some Parmesan. Parmesan crisp, you just grate okay. some Parmesan cheese, and like about a tablespoon, put, them up put it in the oven there. for about three or four minutes at 400 degrees or so, and then you just place it on top as a little garnish. And you might not know, but Gwillimdale Farms not only is one of the largest growers of root vegetables in Ontario, but they also pack and ship the vegetables from farm to store. So great all around. And you root vegetables too, store. so affordable and so oh very, goodness. very good for you. And versatile, yeah. right? So the carrots are amazing for beta carotene, which converts to vitamin A, healthy for skin and also for night vision. And then parsnips are also amazing for vitamin C and they also add fiber to these different recipes. Okay, and then finally, what are these? Oh, so these are vegan cheese bites. They're savory cheese bite and they're made with unsalted, wonderful pistachios. You soak the pistachios and cashews over overnight and then you strain it, put it in a blender with some lemon juice, nutritional yeast, and it makes it makes a cheese, it makes a vegan cheese. So we've wrapped the cheese um, over some grapes, rolled it in some crushed pistachios. Over some grapes? Yeah, just a grape. You take a grape and you roll it, really? you wrap the cheese around it. And it sticks to it then? It sticks to okay. it. Okay. Uh, you roll it in some crushed pistachios for a little extra protein and they're just a great finger food that's delightful for the summer. Okay, and a great meat-free alternative too. Yeah, if you've got some guests who are vegetarian or vegan. So these recipes, wonderfulpistachios.com, the Vichyssoise, GwillemdaleFarms.com. If you want more fruit and vegetable tips, recipes, inspiration, go to producemadesimple.ca or follow me on Instagram at sumarid. Yeah, you gotta follow her on Instagram <laughs> because I get so many tasty ideas, I steal them right from you. Oh, thank you so much, <laughs> enjoy. We'll get all of those links up on our website at chch.com slash morning live. Thanks for joining thank us. Thank you so much.